Well, hi everybody. I'm happy to be here at the Mosaic Mine meeting with Ryan's team and uh, being able to see the facility. Yesterday I was in Saskatoon. I went to the Synchrotron at the University of Saskatchewan. We announced an important funding of $84 million. Today we're here to meet with people working at Mosaic, highlighting how much the uh, potash industry is important to Canada, but not only that, as the world is really working hard to, uh, to, to, to turn away from the Russian and Belarusian uh, potash industry, we want to make sure that we empower workers here and that they know that they can count on us. Now, today I'm also here as the minister uh, in charge of talking about the budget today. And in that context, I want to highlight the fact that we're putting on the table $600 million in tax incentives that uh, could be possibly inter interesting to Mosaic and its people, but also to the industry as we're trying to work on a uh, net zero future and also trying to empower our great creative minds and our great entrepreneurs across the country. So that's why I'm here looking around uh, the facility, getting to know much more the industry and ultimately to show the hardworking Saskatchewan people that we're here for them. So. Uh, so, first off, um, yes. Canadian soldiers are finishing their mission in Jamaica to train troops that will support the Kenyan force going to Haiti. Uh, do you know when the, Can uh, the Kenyan soldiers will arrive in Haiti, and will Canada be called upon to play a larger role in that transition? Uh, and if you can answer in French, then. So, first and foremost, good news coming out of Haiti. Um, indeed, we've seen that uh, there is now a transitional government. Uh, our goal is always to support uh, people in Haiti as uh, they're going through a security crisis and Canada is a friend of the Haitian people. Uh, that being said, we've always said that in order to bring back peace and security to the country, we needed to train the Haitian National Police. We'll continue to do that. We've put a lot of money towards it, actually $80 million, but also we believe in the fact that we need to have a multinational force that would be led by Kenya. I've had many conversations with the foreign minister from Kenya to uh, continue to lead uh, that important multinational force in Haiti. Uh, we've put also $80 million uh, towards that multinational force and will continue to work uh, with the country. Uh, I've been also in contact with Secretary Blinken last week, uh, the US uh, Secretary of State, uh, regarding this very issue, and it is uh, an utmost priority. Uh, on February 3rd, you announced you would be sanctioning Israeli settlers. That was two and a half months ago now. Since then, you've sanctioned Palestinians. Now you're sanctioned Iranians. Uh, what happened to the sanctions you said you would impose on settlers? Did you change your mind? We will be imposing uh, sanctions on the extremist settlers. We've said it. We will do it. Uh, any, any timeline on when that might happen? It will be coming. Thank you. Minister, you mentioned $600 million. Yep. Is that new money in this most recent budget? And if so, which industries is it intended to support? So indeed, it is uh, new money that we're putting on the table to make sure that we can help different companies, different industries, to be able to have access uh, to, to, to invest in their facilities, particularly to make sure that they get to a net zero future. Now, we think that Mosaic and the potash sector is a great sector to invest. We know that it is so important for people in Saskatchewan, so that's why I'm here visiting this, uh, this mine and making sure that people watching us at home know that uh, the Canadian government has their back and we want to invest more here in this facility. We've seen a lot of announcements in the last few years of federal dollars for electric vehicle battery plants. What is your government doing specifically in this most recent budget to benefit industries here in the western part of the country? Well, we think that the uh, electric vehicle um, uh, reality is, is not whether there will be electric vehicles or not, EVs or not. It's where will they be made, in which part of the world. And we saw yesterday that uh, we were able to attract a very important uh, investment from Honda, from Japan. Now we know that every single part of the country, including Saskatchewan, can benefit from that investment. So we're creating a supply chain to make sure that across the country, every single pe people can benefit from these jobs that are created. And I've just had a very good conversation with Ryan and his team here to know what can be done through the potash sector to really help 
this supply chain. And I really think that um, there is a bright future uh, in the EV sector, but also in Saskatchewan linked to this sector. So you're here visiting Mosaic Potash today. Yep. How specifically can the Mosaic company and its employees benefit from this most recent federal budget? So I think that by working with the company that can invest even more in facility and in new also uh, proceed, procedures, we will then be able to attract investments and therefore create new jobs and make sure that the, the mine is competitive here, of course, in North America, but also across the world. And as foreign minister, what I've seen is uh, lots of countries are trying to um, divert themselves from being dependent from Russia and Belarus. And there is an international fight going on on who can really uh, uh, provide this important potash uh, and then these fertilizers for the world. So we know that Saskatchewan has been feeding the world for generations, uh, from, from the lentil sectors, from the cereal sector, from, of course, the potash sector. And that's why I'm here, to make sure that not only this is uh, a way to show that we trust the people that are doing this important work, but also that we're investing. So concretely speaking, what I'm talking about today is not only about tax incentive, but it is about creating good jobs here in Belle Plaine and across the country. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Good. Thank you. Thank you so much.